I'll be honest with you. I am. Uh, I'm slightly, uh, slightly nervous. I'm not a nervous person. No, you're not. Slightly nervous coming in today because mm-hmm. right, James Brunt's in the building, yes. right? And I thought he was going to be like sat right next to us, but right. he's, he's over there, isn't he? So yeah. I'm a little bit nervous because here's the thing, right? I bought uh, an ex army tank, right? I bought, a t- <laughs> I, I bought a tank, right? Are, this aren't, is- they, aren't they all ex army? That's true. Yeah, yes, okay. you Sorry. can get the. Uh, I think the Salvation Army they <laughs> okay. do a few, but they're they're, they're more uh, tambourines. Uh, so yeah, I bought a tank. Well, right. it was it was a self propelled artillery gun, right? Because uh, <laughs> if ever there's a man who would appreciate this, you know, when you sort of go, I want to buy a silly thing, yeah, right? You know, so I, so I bought the tank and I was sort of driving it around. Now here's the thing, right, <laughs> Mr. James Blunt, right? <laughs> was this he like Commander James Blunt or yeah. Captain? Captain? And he's a proper he's a proper tank driver. Yeah, and I just as I was coming in <laughs> and people sort of, like people that know that I've got the tank, you know, I'll, I'll be filling up with petrol and people go, Ross, you still got your tank? Still got your tank? And I, as I was coming into here, I thought, oh no, he's going to go. You know, like if you're driving a, if you're driving a sports car and a Formula One driver yeah. and he just goes, oh, weekender. Mm. So yeah, so I was just a little bit worried that he's going to go, you're a weekend tank driver. See, now I just want to talk about your tank for 10 minutes, but I've got to talk about your tour because that's why you're here. Rossnoble.com. Go and see Ross. He starts in the Isle of Man on Mondays, as I said. Uh, it's a 58-day tour. Goes all over the UK, rossnoble.com. It's going to be really funny. If you hear the title Jibber Jabber Jamboree, that's to do with Ross, rossnoble.com. Thanks. Right, back to the tank. Yes, so, so back to the tank. We've done that. We've so, looked at so, it. Uh, um, and also, oh, by the way, Carlisle, yes. we've had to cancel the Carlisle gig. Why? Rack concrete, my friend. <laughs> Hello? You know the rack concrete that they yeah. had in the schools yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. falling down? Oh, no. The sand centre in Carlisle. It is unsafe. Can't you pop up somewhere else in Carlisle? I d- they don't. There's not a huge amount. It's Can't you like do it from the tank? End. Can't you just do it like, <laughs> you know, doors through the shop and pull up that. at a car park or your friendly mall and declare I, comedy? I, I don't. I don't get involved <laughs> with the logistics. But yeah, rat concrete. So sorry about that. Anyway, yes. No so, huge apologies, Carlisle. Um, yes. Well, where's the? I wonder where the nearest date to Carlisle is. Now we are into talking about the and tour, Newcastle. I think Newcastle. Right, it's certainly it's, around the corner. It's around the corner, isn't it? Yes. So, so, um, so yes. tell us about this because it is a it's a funny purchase. I like it. I'm a big fan of this purchase. You uh, can tell. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, does it have wheels or does it have tracks? It's tracks. It's a. It's a, yeah, like a fully. T- it a, has tracks. A fully track and a gun. It's like uh, yeah, Abbott four three three, and uh, you yes. drive it around with levers. Then if it has tracks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly levers. Do you have to have license? Do you have to have a license? Well, look. <laughs> yes, but no. There's rules, and there's the the there's uh, you rules. can get an H license to drive on the road, right? If you oh. want to, if you want to drive it on the road. But the thing is, right, that uh, I went and did some uh, some gigs out in Afghanistan, right, for the troops, well right? Yeah, yeah. They love a laugh, the Taliban. The um, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the point is, while I was there, this the <laughs> was the t- it's just it's just got it. <laughs> I just got it. I just allowed myself to sorry, laugh at it. Sorry. There's, uh, uh, so, yeah, yeah, so while I was out there, yeah. and, uh, you know, all the guys out there, they're like, you know, they're really, they, they love their equipment and they love showing it off. And they said, oh, do you want to... You mean you... they're soldiers? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah the okay. soldiers. They like to show off their stuff. Yes. And uh, they said, would you like to Would you like to sit in a tank? And I went, oh, yes, I would. And I got in it. And I went, hang on a second. This looks familiar. Oh. And I went, click, click, click. And I'm like, and there's, no, you no. can't, you can't drive it. So Did um, you know yeah. the procedure to turn it on, honestly? Yes. Yeah, it's quite easy. It's because they're quite analog, aren't they? Yeah, still? exactly. It's not like a helicopter. But I'd give that a go. How hard can it be? So there was um, where I live. We're very lucky to be. But everybody come in, by the way. People keep yeah, you come, saying, yeah. come in. It's come all right. In. Everybody come in and talk, meet Ross. Um, we, it is a bit weird. I'll be honest. That's yeah. why I waved. That's why I waved to them because it does have a slight feel of a, a zoo feel. I know that they're behind the glass. There Get. is a zoo format for a oh, radio show, yes. but we don't need to be in an actual yes. zoo to to have that going. That's it. Come in. Everybody, That's come it. in. Come in. As long as James Blunt isn't there. So with a with where, squad. we had a tank driving down our. Street the day because there was a thing in the park on a Saturday. We have lots of things in the park. And we're very lucky. Yes, and I and it was going. Hang it was on, a, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I don't mean to interrupt. You had a thing in the park. Yeah, we just have, we have do. There are events like, in the like park, a, like a fit. Yes, yeah, sometimes there's a fit. Sometimes there's a comedy festival. Sometimes right, okay. there's a flat. Right. So, but every weekend you never know what's going. You can find out, but I'd rather yeah. not know. I'm, uh, I like to be surprised uh, by my own town. Right. You know, and, and one day part of this thing was. Uh, military vehicles of, of your yes. of yesteryear and there was a tank coming down our high street but it was a proper it was no offence to your tank yeah. right? but it was a big full on tank and I thought that's not allowed because right. it was literally churning up the tarmac 
Ah. And you've got to be careful with that, haven't you? Yeah, well, there's little there's little um, rubber pads that you're supposed to put <laughs> you're, suppo- you're supposed, you're supposed, you're to, supposed put to put in, but it sounds to me like, are you sure you weren't being invaded? Maybe, maybe could, that was it. It could have been. To be honest, it wasn't a great invasion because in, in, it, it passed by unnoticed, if not admired. Right? Yeah. Okay. Different. But the great thing about them is that if you do want to buy one, and I heartily recommend you do, <laughs> they're uh, congestion charge exempt. No. What they about are, ULES? They, oh, that's a tricky one, <laughs> I isn't bet it? they're ULES exempt as they well. They probably are. They are. That's the, what they should have done. Instead of all of those people, you know, that were complaining, going, oh, we shouldn't have the yeah. ULES, because, you know, they should have just done that. They should have just bought an entire... Fleet, a, a fleet armada a, a whatever flotilla what is a uh, a battalion battalion a of battalion tanks. of tanks and just it. rolled it through rolled it through the streets you know there's les now sorry so there's you les right and there's les that's just a bloke isn't it that's what, thought, no, that's what we thought that's what we thought oh you les and yeah. now there's les right because they've extended the ultra emission zone yes but it's not ultra it's just what it's it's it sounds like it's gone down a level but it's gone up Oh, so you ultra the ultra low emission zone is central London. They've extended it now, and now that is less, not you. Right. Well, I, I I got an electric car. I got the electric car. Right? <laughs> Come on. And uh, the one that I've got right is because uh, that's the thing. It's hard when you. It's do... nice to see you enjoying your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got to get around. Of course. I tell you what, it was a bit weird though when you go into the garage and you go, you do a trade in on a tank. And he's gone. <laughs> and then... you, please tell me you turned up in the tank. You didn't. It would be great. You should have done. Just anyway. gone. How much are you give me for that? Yeah. Well, look. Or, or look, we can negotiate. But you know, I have come. This is where I'm starting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. The, um, yeah, so I got, I got the. You'll know about this year, Jim. Come on. And all the car people, the guys there with the car fest t shirt. Yes, are you big? On. Are you big car guys? Like proper they, car guys? Yeah, but yeah. well, they run the festival. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> so if they weren't before, they are now. Otherwise, That's, it's I a strange thought, way of handing in your P forty five. I just thought they were fans. I thought yeah. they were big fans well, of it. I like to think they're fans yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, they've got the t shirt. Another sackable offence. Is, is that one of the perks of running the festival? They get a free t shirt. Yes, fantastic. That's right, in last year's colours. Thank um, you. Oh, lovely. Um, <laughs> so the the one that I got was, uh, you know, because they haven't got the noise when you, you know, you accelerate. Yeah, you and can, stuff, you, you can have added noise. Oh, the, well, yeah, but this is the thing. Yeah. The one that I got, right, uh-huh. it's got the uh, Hans Zimmer. Yeah. You know, the the composer, yeah. Hans Zimmer. So you accelerate and it goes, mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm, So cool. Mm-hmm, it's great. It's magnificent. It's Except it's what I want, <laughs> what they haven't done, right? Is, is, it, is, is this the, all in the tour? Because it should be. <laughs> it might be. Come we'll, on. We'll find out if the if the rest of the theatres don't fall down to <laughs> some standard concrete. The uh, Hans Zimmer, he did the music for uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. So I think instead of them going, and so when you accelerate, it should go. I think it's no feature for that. I think it probably can. No, I think it probably can. Do you reckon it can? Yeah, and because, I mean, this has been going on for years. Years. So Porsche, you've got the Taycan now, the old electric Taycan. But of course, it doesn't sound like a Porsche, you know. And if you if you were into your 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 more traditional Porsches, and then you you acquired a family, or you're of an age now, and you think, oh, I'll go Taycan, but it's a bit of it's a family car. It's a, yeah, it's a very beautiful family car. It's got the arches of the Miura, which is based on. It's a nice looking of, thing. Yeah. Do they burst into flames though? No, they don't. Okay. They don't. They if, if they do, I'm going to say they don't okay. just because of the p- potential litigation. I, no, no, of course they don't. Okay, fine. I don't think they do. But um, that's a battery thing anyway. So, sorry. No, that, you know because that is a battery thing. <laughs> right. It's not. The, it's the batteries. So there's lots of these right. super yacht fires now. There's more super yacht fires than ever before, right. and most of them start in the toy shop on the boat oh, where they keep all the you know all the yeah, skidoos and all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because the crew um, buy cheaper batteries. And yeah. the, it's the batteries that catch for fire. Yeah, you don't get that on below decks, do you? You don't, you don't. I'd like to but say that. I think that. it's coming in the next series. Wait, you know, you know what? It's got to go somewhere. You, you know when the uh, you know when the mobile phone ringtones first came in? Yes. And you could pick your ringtone? Yes. I'm thinking a uh, business idea. Come on. You can record your own noise for the cars mm. and then like you could like say the Porsche one you yeah. turn it on yeah. and instead of an engine it could just be somebody going Porsche Porsche Porsche, Porsche, well, Porsche, who, Porsche who was it that did that somebody did that didn't they an impressionist did no different cars oh yes it was uh, it was little and large Little and large starting up the car. <laughs> so it was like here's Lulu starting up the car Wait, Wait, yeah. it. little and large saw the future yeah Nostradamus. Who knew that oh, Little and Large were visionaries? I, Sid Little's a registration plate was Sid126. 
Really? On his Mercedes. And um, Paul Daniels used to have uh, magic. magic Wand. He did, he did. He had Magic Wand. Yeah, it was actually MAG1C. Oh, was it? It was, it was literally magic. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I think, I think he had... I think he might have had Magic Warning 2 because he got the other one for Debbie's car. Yeah! Brilliant, eh? Oh, it's the best yeah. ever. Um, so I'm on tour, yeah? Yeah, he's on tour. He's definitely on tour. <laughs> it's always And happens. the sooner the better, to be it's honest. It's always happened. Uh, he's got and, his own wheels. Oh, and also... This is I... why you're talking about cars because sometimes you think, I'm on tour, I've got to keep on the move. Yeah, oh, let's talk about moving true. things. That is true. Go on. Can I also plug Vassos's book? How to run a marathon. Definitely not. Uh, Rossnoble.com. No, 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 Thank you, Ross. That's all we got time for. Aww. Can you get James to do an extra song, please? Thank you very much. Um, go on, then. Tell us why. Because I read Vassos' oh, book. No, don't say the next bit. Go and on. I, he's, he's ruined my life. Because? I'm, because yeah. I, I went and ran a marathon. He I didn't went, just run. By the way, he didn't. Most no, people don't, don't, but, start no. with London. Yeah. You're a nice sort of flat, gentle Berlin, Chicago. Ross, right? Right. What's the hardest marathon in Australia? <laughs> One preferably involves mountains and like miles and miles on sandy beaches. Mm. I'll do that one for my first marathon. I was so thrilled when oh. you emailed me about that because it was just... What do you mean when you emailed? What you, what's all this fraternising with the guests? It's, it's called <laughs> I, the Chris Evans breakfast show. It's not called I, the Vassos of my new friend's well, breakfast show. Well, if it's any consolation... It's not con- there's no, I don't no, care no, what you're no. going to say. There's no consolation here. No, there is here. a consolation here. <laughs> I've told you, I read your book. Oh, yeah, I, I've read all of your right, books. Right. That's, is, that, is that all right? Yeah, it's yeah? Right. Okay. Yeah, if you'd like to buy Chris's books, they're all excellent. But Once the point, a narcissist, but, those are narcissists. But the point is that I read Vassos' book, right? Right? Mm. And then while I was doing this crazy thing, running along the sand and yes. everything, yes. I started to go, like all the advice in the book, all of the stuff that he all talked rubbish. about. All rubbish, absolute balderdash. You know what? I started thinking about him. I started thinking about you. And? So I was Which think- helped the most. So- <laughs> <laughs> well, you were behind me and I was running quicker. <laughs> Yay! I don't know what he's running from, but I'm running from him. So so while I was in a, in a bit of a pain cave on a long, Ooh. long, sandy, long, difficult bit, mm. I was thinking of your smiling, upbeat face. So there you go. Thank he you so wrote much. the book. You were in I got. Head. I have the face. Is that all right? <laughs> You're um, the face of Tell pain. us about your pain cave. Tell us about your pain cave. Oh, look, it's one of those things. Some people love the pain cave. I can't stand it. Not for you? Not for me. No. I. Uh, well, here's the thing. Uh, as Vassal says, it turns out mm. marathons are a lot easier to run on uh, flat ground. and the, uh, uh, Downhill's uh, even better. The, the, yeah. No, that was, but that was the opposite. On these crazy, on the on the mountain ones. Yeah, mountains. But as that, you run into, because it's so yeah. steep. Yeah. I hadn't, I'd, I'd practiced running uphill, hadn't practiced running down. Yeah, no, but I mean, just roads that slope down, they're great. So, right, okay. So the first six miles of the London Marathon, all downhill. Great North Run, all downhill at the start as well. Yeah. There was I watched a thing about two guys doing a crazy ultra marathon and he's because of the downhills, his legs were so sore, the only way he could run was backwards. And he still had like four or five miles to go. He's already he's on like ninety miles or and he's running backwards and like when he's going forward, he's like, Ah, I can't move. And he went, Hang on a second. And he trots in backwards going, I'm fine now. This, so, but there's uh, some I mean there's some films about people running it, aren't there? There's loads of running documentaries and loads of loads of films on YouTube and Netflix. And where they go. I mean, clearly some people like the pain cave. You love the pain cave, don't you, Vas? I just don't like I've been there and I I'm, I'm I'm there's growth in it and there's experience in it, and I'm glad to know what it feels like, but I don't like it. Tash my wife's running 53 miles tomorrow wow uh, she loves it she's bringing it on the more pain the better yeah it's not that I love the pain it's just that I love the person that emerges from the pain and I love the feeling of just being in flow and Ross you're about to have you, you've signed up to ultras now yeah come well, on tell us yeah, I'm going to do it. It's not, Well, strictly speaking, that one that I did was like 44. So I'm claiming that I've done an ultra. Well, that but, is 44. Yeah, I, think, uh, I think that's like uh, in a year, year and a bit. I'm not going too quickly. There's a big, long one. I'm going to have a go at Which that. Which one? Because uh, it's called the... Uh, the the two, it's, it's in Australia. It's the right. t- the Two Beers Trail nice. 50 something. You're so. married to an Australian lady, aren't you? Yeah, I am, yes. Um, what is, I've not been to Australia ever. Yeah, wait, no, what? Never. I know it's mad, Never. isn't it? I know. Do you know why? Is it uh, the long plane journey? Would no, it it's not. No? So, that's funny, isn't it? We're talking about this today. People are moaning about, uh, I've got to go to bed late tonight. I'm, I, I've got to fly to um, Cape Town tomorrow. What, you mean you've got to sit in a chair for 11 hours being given brought oh food and drink? It's, it's the greatest thing ever. Of course I, it is. I, I flew in like two days ago. I had 24 hours. Yeah, exactly. Just watching movies. The longer the flight, the better. I'd be doing that at home. Oh my God, it's a 24-hour flight. You're not flying the plane. You're not building the plane. <laughs> exactly. You're not flapping yeah. your arms. You're just sitting on a seat watching amazing films and just... Yeah. You know, falling out of the, the, I don't know, food coma every now and again. Yeah. Anyway, no, why, I don't. Why? why? why because I think I might fall in love with it, and I think I might, that might be the end of me. I, th- I just have an, a sense that Australia might be the place for me. 
Right, here's what we're doing. Come on. Right, here's what we're doing. Yep. Bring the show. Bring the show to Australia. This one? This show. Who wants to go to Australia? Who wants to go to Australia? <laughs> right, bring the show. Do it in my back garden. Wow. And then we'll all go We'll all go running down the beach and, all, and, and through the mountains. And Let's we can celebrate that. with a, um, a no beer cheer because I'm off the booze now. You know that? Oh, wow. 140 days today. You know, I do, I've never drunk. I know this one. Ne- this, never this, drunk. This is where oh, I'm going. And are you loving it? I can't tell you how. It's so enjoyable. I've got to be honest, the first few weeks I was thinking, I still feel terrible. Right. And then somebody said, no, no, that's because you blame feeling terrible on the alcohol. You feel right. terrible anyway, so you just got to stop feeling. You got to sort yourself out. Yeah, yeah. But the compound, I think, co- compound interest is everything for me now. Right. Whether it, whether it's working, keeping fit, relationships. You put the hours in. You put the hours in. You yeah. put the hours in, and then right at the end they pay off. But God, do they pay off? They pay off from here to infinity and beyond. If I can borrow a phrase from the great Buzz Lightyear, the co- <laughs> the, I can feel the compound benefit creeping up on me now. Yeah. I feel fantastic but i didn't for ages right well, you must feel like this all you, the time well you know what i've just discovered right you ready everyone here we go this is a are you thing, ready everyone right you ready for this can't hear right? you ready, everyone. this is a, this is a thing right you know what i've just discovered and it's partly through all of this sleep yeah <laughs> it turns out i've heard about that. i had no idea i know this sounds insane right <laughs> turns out water and sleep quite important right mm. didn't realize because you know i've been a comedian since i was a, a tiny child not a lot of sleep <laughs> tiny child. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah for, for his first ever tour the tiny child tour yeah, well, sold yeah. out didn't it yeah they had to put the mic down really low <laughs> like that there's uh so yeah for, so for years i work late i sleep late and i've got a lot of energy i'd get i don't sleep a lot but it turns out and then you know you start running about the place and you're doing like long runs and stuff and you go oh this is easier if i actually if i actually sleep that's crazy eh? and it turns out unbelievable who knew i know sleep is a thing exercise and eating and drinking things that are good for you oh Oh, hang on. Let's it's not like go. A miracle. Let's not go too far. Go too far. I'm on tour for the next five months. There'll, um, be, there'll yeah, be no. I mean, that, that there'll, is the thing. there'll be no fresh vegetables for well, me. That is the thing. You got to. Be, well, there should be. You know, there should be. Well, there should be. Yeah. But to be honest with you, I reckon I would say at least ninety percent of touring comedians have scurvy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and haven't seen an actual non-paper plate for a, a good while. Yeah. Um, who was it that had? Uh, Oh, Steven Spielberg's parents. There you go. Where's this one come from? Steven Spielberg's parents only ever ate, along with the the young Spielberg Jr. and his siblings, only ever ate from paper plates with plastic knives and forks on disposable tablecloths because his mum hated washing up. And well, that's a true story. Well, it's funny you should say that. <laughs> because when I, fir- when I first moved to London, yes. myself and my flatmate, who we-, we used to watch that show Men Behaving Badly, and go, they're not even trying. <laughs> they're not even trying. We lived like pigs, like absolute pigs. And it was one of the things where I got so... Like, there was a massive pile of washing up. And it was that thing, but we never did the washing up. And there was everything was crusted together. Growing. And, and I went, right, here's what we're doing. Right. We're getting paper plates. So I went and got the paper plates. But here's the thing. Once you've used paper plates, you think, oh, we haven't got any more paper Easy plates. Again. So I started... Ooh. <laughs> I, I started just just wiping the paper plates no! down. So we started, no! we start, and the the point where I went, oh, this needs to stop, was I was making some spaghetti, and I didn't. <laughs> I'm literally and, gonna throw. And, and I didn't, I didn't own a colander at the time, and I went, I know what I'll do. I'll make a cone out of a paper plate, <laughs> and I'll pour this. You know that magic trick where they used to like that. You back pour to, the everything water, leads yeah, back to Paul Daniels. Everything back to Paul Daniels, yeah. and uh, the uh, and, and so I poured it through. Here's the thing. <laughs> about the paper it went soggy all of the spaghetti came out and it went through all the dirty washing up and you're left with a choice there you think am i going to cook more spaghetti or am i going to fish out oh, the- <laughs> or i'm going to earn a few quid become famous and get a dishwasher that's <laughs> what i'm going to do ross great to see you man it's always a pleasure um i love the fact we have a ch- the chat the chats we have are anything but the tour so the tour just, stays yeah, fresh yeah we just yeah it's good man turn up on the tour right when so next year this show from my back garden Love it. and then we'll go through the hills it's funny because Visit Australia have been sniffing around the show for a sponsorship that should get them over the line oh, I reckon don't God. you yeah, it's definitely. I'm not joking by is the that way. true yeah completely true right it's happening rossnoble.com let's hear it from Ross give a jabber jamboree